Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware using a USB drive. First, I'll demonstrate that this PC is unsupported by Microsoft standards. I will use official Microsoft tools and installers to prove that this system cannot run Windows 11 as is. So, make sure to watch the full video and upgrade your own device after watching to save time and effort. Next, I'll use the Windows Installation Assistant and the PC Health Check tool to show you that this PC doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirements. I've already installed the PC Health Check app. As you can see, the system specifications don't meet the requirements for Windows 11. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if I attempt to install Windows 11 from a standard USB installation. I'll run the setup from a USB drive I created using the Windows Media Creation tool from the Microsoft website. As expected, it says the PC doesn't meet the system requirements. Next, we're going to download the Windows 11 24H2 ISO file from Microsoft's official website, the link is in the description below. Choose your preferred language, confirm, and download the 64-bit version of Windows 11 24H2. This part may take a while as the ISO file is quite large. Once the ISO file is downloaded, I'll show you how to mount it and run the setup again. Windows ISO file is downloaded. Go to Download. Open the ISO file to mount it. It should open in File Explorer, if not, open in File Explorer by right-clicking on ISO file. Then run the setup.exe. As you can see, it's checking the PC requirements again and, once again, the system does not meet the necessary requirements. Now that we've confirmed this PC is unsupported, I'll show you how to bypass those restrictions. Download Rufus from its official website, link in the description. Rufus is a tool that will allow us to bypass the Windows 11 requirements like TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. Before we create the bootable USB with Rufus, make sure your USB drive is formatted and has no data on it. Do a quick format and give it a label, such as Windows 11. Now, we'll open Rufus, select the ISO file we downloaded earlier, and leave the settings as default. Select the correct USB drive, and then click Start. Make sure to check the option that says Remove Requirement for 4GB IAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0. The other options are optional, so you can leave them as is. 
Click OK and Rufus will begin creating the bootable USB. This USB can be used for a clean install, in-place upgrade, or recovery on any PC, whether it's supported or not. This process will take a little while, but once it's done, the USB is ready to use. Now, I'll show you how to upgrade the existing Windows 11 23H2 installation on this PC using the bootable USB we just created. Plug the USB into your computer, open this PC, navigate to the USB, and run setup.exe. This will initiate an in-place upgrade. You can use this same USB to clean install windows on any PC. When prompted, choose to not get updates for now, and click Next. The system will bypass the requirements and allow you to proceed. Accept the terms and conditions, and ensure there is enough space on your PC for the installation. Make sure to select Keep Personal Files and Apps before clicking Install. This process will take some time, and your PC will reboot several times. If you're using a laptop, make sure it stays connected to the power adapter during this process. After the reboot, I'll show you the updated system. As you can see, the PC has successfully rebooted. I'll now go to settings system about, and as you can see, it's now running Windows 11 24H2, even though this processor wasn't initially supported. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to upgrade unsupported hardware without a USB. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it.